Welcome back everyone, so let's get right into it. So first I took my Anastasia Beverly Hills contour palette as usual. Now I'm gonna put my contour color in the crease and blend it. So yeah, you want to blend it really really well just to have a good base. And then I took my Tarte Light in Bloom palette. So this is what we're gonna use for the tutorial. Um, first I took the color Rebel and I'm gonna put it on my crease. Um, at the exact same place I put the contour color right before and next we're gonna go with a darker color the color leader now I'm gonna take a more pointed blending brush and put it in the outer corner um, I'm just gonna add a little bit by a little bit I'm gonna uh, go in between my printed blending brush and my fluffier blend blending brush just to make everything seamless so there's no like harsh lines so as you can see I go like up maybe in the third of my eye and I just blend everything and I'm gonna do the same thing with the other eye So next I'm going to take an eyeshadow brush and take the color Sweetheart I'm going to put it all over my lid um, It's just like a really soft eyeshadow look, it's all matte um, You can always put concealer underneath just to have the color pop a little bit more if you want But I kept it really simple and then I took a fluffier blending brush just to like blend the lines And I thought like my outer corner wasn't dark enough so I went back with the color leader and my blending brush and I just added a bit more on the outer corners. Next we want to clean it up so I took my concealer, the same color I always use. So I did my under eyes. I'm just going to clean the outer corner with my concealer. And then I just took my foundation brush I'm just gonna blend my concealer right under my eyes and then I took like a shader brush and I'm gonna do the under my under eyes so I went with the color leader and after in the inner corner I took the color rebel. And then I just want to take your fluffy brush and just blend everything in so it's not like too harsh. So after that I decided to do a wing liner so I took my Kat Von D liquid liner. And you want to do whatever cat eye you want. I did like a, it's not big or anything, it's just like normal cat eye, I guess. So now we're gonna work on the lashes. So I took my Makeup Forever mascara. I just wanna put a thin layer because I'm gonna put fake lashes on. And so I put 
the same mascara at the bottom lashes too and then for my fake lashes I used the same one I used on my other tutorial so it's the kiss number 11 I always use these because they're really really natural and then I decided to contour a bit um, I'm not really big on contouring because I, I didn't master it yet so I just put a little bit like on my cheeks and my forehead just to bronze up like just to find my face a little bit and then I took a blending like a contour brush and I just blend everything in so you don't want any lines so you have to make sure like you really blend if it takes you 10 minutes then it takes you 10 minutes so just do it and then I took my contour kit and I took the same color I used before espresso so I'm gonna use this to warm up my contour And then I'm gonna set my under eyes with the same powder I always use lately. I mean, it's really good. It really fills in my pores and everything. So my skin just looks so smooth. Then we're gonna highlight. So I use my Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in molten gold. So I decided to highlight my uh, brow bone, my nose, as usual. I'm gonna hi highlight my cheeks also, and this time I'm gonna use a fan brush. Then for my lips, I'm gonna use the same eyeliner I always use. And yes, it is eyeliner, it's not a lip liner, it's just because it doesn't even work on my eyes anyway. So I use it as a lip liner by Rimmel. And then after, I'm gonna use my Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Crucifix by Kat Von D. And after you want to set your face, so I use my All Liner by Urban Decay. And this is basically the look. So it's all matte, except for the highlight, of course. But the all eyeshadows were matte. So if you like it, just you can always put a thumbs up, comment down below. I always respond to my comments. So it will be nice to talk to you guys. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.